So what's up sim racers welcome back to another video now in today's video i'll show you how you can run le mans ultimate on triple screen one two three and that to using the amd card and i previously uploaded a video about that but that was related to the nvidia card so in today's video it will be all about amd card if you're having some issues some problems then definitely this video will actually help you solve those problems so first thing when you start the amd control panel you can press alt r on your keyboard or you can simply go on let me show you right from the start you can go on here and just click on the button and then the control panel will pop up like that now go to settings now there is a setting option go to setting you'll see the option for display click on display and simply go down the bottom the bottom side you see there will be an option for discard setup my setup is actually done so i'll just simply click on discard setup and then click on yes I'll just show you right from start. So once it's dis discarded, and this is the scenario over there. Three monitors, if I press this, it will actually pop up in one screen. And my Google Chrome actually went on to the other screen. So this is it. So now how to actually make sure that your monitors are aligned properly. Go to display settings. The so display setting will come up over here. You see that there are numbers written here, one, two, three, which means that the monitor on the left should be numbered one center will be number three and the right will be number two this is actually the thumb rule if i click on identify now watch closely saying one three two i think you quickly saw that so now it means it's aligned if it's showing one two three and if it, it, it in this screen if it's showing one three two that means it's not properly aligned you'll eventually figure it out you know you guys are smart enough you know uh, if if something is not right you see you will definitely feel it like you cannot move the cursor from left to right so after it's done now come back here in the software again click on uh, setup quick setup just click on the button after it's done now again you see it will be a single screen that's all now you can close this uh, box you can also adjust the colors if you want i won't show that now simply run the game and before that if you're having some trouble like that there might be some issues with monitors like for different resolution monitors like say this is a 4k monitor this is a 1080p monitor what will happen is that sometimes this part of the screen will be black pitch black okay sometimes this happens to solve the issue yeah, there's a software called ifinity pro this is the amd software this software is actually fitted inside the amd control panel it will be very hard for you to find i'll actually post the link somewhere in this video uh, uh, i'll just uh, show you here so you see, it's Samsung Union TV. Samsung is my left TV on the left. This is actually not aligned properly. This should be in the center. Now it's properly aligned. This is my Acer monitor right there. So this, this is the center and, and the Union TV is actually on the right side. So now on the bottom side, click on fill and then click, click on this create identity configuration. I won't do it because it's already done for now. And regarding where this software is located, I click open file location. I'll show you right there where it's located. This is the location, guys. You can take a screenshot. You can pause this video and take a screenshot. And there you will find this software. It's actually hidden right there. Very clever, AMD. Now we'll just start the game from the icon. Now watch how the game actually spans across three of the monitors. Well, it's starting on one monitor here. Okay, no, it's starting on all, all three. Sometimes it just scares me. See, now see, now it's actually spanning across all the three monitors. Well, now see, three monitors are actually having the same screen. Okay, now we'll solve that too. Just click on skip. Now, you see, uh, even if all the screens are actually having the same uh, screen. Now to solve this, go to settings. It's actually quite simple. Now go to graphics, in the graphics section. Now select the resolution 5760 by 1080. If you're having a 1440p monitor, triple 1440p, then it will be different for you. This re resolution will be different for you, but you will eventually understand. Now keep changes. Don't forget that. That's all. Now it's actually spanning across three of the screen. Now I'll just quickly get on a race and then I'll show you how it looks like. And that's not all. On the inside the game, you can actually even tweak further the triple screen settings.
So this is the loading screen and this is how it looks like. And I actually had to quit the race because I made a mistake. And uh, before going into the race, go to graphic settings here and make sure to turn on the multi-view. It's actually turned off right now. I'll just turn this on. This is the multi-view. This will actually enable the triple screen options in the game. Now if you go in the game, that shortcut will actually work. Control shift and equals. So now we are in the game. Now all you need to do here is that on the keyboard, press control shift and then equals at the same time. So let me press it, control shift and then equal. And see a menu will pop up over here. This is actually the triple screen settings, which you can see right there. And if you look closely, you can actually set from set according to a left monitor, a right monitor, and also according to a main monitor. And then if you click the main, it will show all, which means that uh, if you want, you can uh, adjust the, if you change any settings here, which means that either both the left and the right will change. So this is what it means. And if you want the right monitor to go a little bit right, uh, then you can actually select the angle. Let's say I want, I want more angle on the right side. You can decrease the angle like that. So on the right side will be affected. So this is it. You can adjust it accordingly you want and you can also remove the HUD, the head on display and everything like that. It was turned on by default. But again, you can actually change around with the settings. So this settings uh, I can adjust if I click all. Now whatever setting I make changes, everything will be, you see, it's going a little bit wide, a little bit, I, I want this at this position and the eye means where you are sitting, you can also change it so that everything looks perfect. Now if I drive, so this is how it will look if I drive and I want the height, the, this is the H, H is the height, it, I want it a little bit squeezed, okay. So that's it and you can also uh, make some keyboard shortcuts for the height. If you go to options, you can make some keyboard shortcuts to adjust the sitting position. Go to controls and go to uh, gameplay and now there's the car controls. If you go with the bottom, there are some interaction, I think that's the interaction control. There was some actually, I re remember calibrate, no not the calibrate one camera now go to the camera there there it is you see uh, driving cameras you can change the driving camera just press any button on your keyboard that will actually oh, uh, my wheel is selected you can also select the keyboard option here for the cameras so driving cameras is actually insert if you press insert the driving cameras will change and look left look behind what we, we are looking for is there will be an option for seat and fob okay this is this is it I just sit forward, so I'll press the uh, U button and I just sit backwards, I'll press the J button, I just sit up, I'll press the K and I just sit down, I'll press the H. So increase FOB, I will use the angle brackets and num0 or pitch, I'll press the button 9. Okay, so that's it, now click on, uh, now go back, it will be saved. Now if we go back in the race, now if we press these buttons, you see if I press it, so uh, my FOB is actually getting, I can you know, make my seating position a bit higher, like that. Something's wrong, I think it's a kind of bug. I can go lower, but I don't think I can go any higher. Okay, so I'll just come closer. This is how you can actually adjust it. Adjust it according to your liking. Now if I quickly go in a race and show you how it actually looks like. Sometimes the mouse cursor just goes off. So I'm on my pit limiter.
driving with one hand is actually very crazy. I was looking at my camera. This is why it happened. I think I can release my hand. No, nope. not a good idea. I actually took the old Mulsain circuit. Uh, 333 is the maximum so that's all that's how it actually look on triple screen on with lemon ultimate so uh, if you have any questions next let me uh, know here in the comment section below and if you really like this video to give a like that actually helps me a lot it actually gives me the notification motivation not motivation motivation the necessary needed modification for me to make future content for you guys uh, if you have any problems i can solve it here solve it right there on youtube so, and if you, if you want to be, you can also subscribe to my channel, then till then, see you on my next video. And if you want to know how I made this steering wheel, then click the video on the right. And if you want to know how I made the RGB LED strip, then click the video on the left. And even if you want how I made this uh, yellow flag spotter, then the video will be right in the center or above. So, till then, see you on my next video.